I'm Nadezhda Sabova. I'm from Bulgaria originally and I represent an organization that is international. It's called the International Council for Community Cultural Centers. And it is registered in Bulgaria, but it is global. It has 37 countries members. The members are national networks of community cultural centers, which usually are hundreds or up to thousands. The community cultural centers that we work with um, develop all kinds of community art activities. But we've been recently working with a way to bring community together that is related to food and especially bread making. So it, bread making and especially collective bread making when different generations come together has really proven to be the most efficient, not efficient but really the most human way to bring people from different generations and ethnic groups. And especially people who would never relate to the arts such as older men or working uh, women. Um, and it has been a way to then build a dialogue on change in their way of life, in especially bringing sustainable living uh, from making your own food to really changing the way you live, the way you relate to nature, and also to being creative, to really think about bread as art and art as a way of life. Through the global network of community cultural centers that we have, um, we are trying to promote the different centers around the world to think of what they can put in place without any external funding. It is precisely an exercise in not thinking on a project basis, because projects limit action. That has been really a thinking that has been promoted by global organizations and it limits civil society action. And I think the first thing we could do, and we will give them an idea, but then they could change tremendously what they want to do with it, is uh, to simply start forming um, workshops, as I previously said, around the concept of making your own bread is the first step to sustainable living. Um, it really is a change of mentality that then takes you on to a whole range of other steps to take, from making your own bread to changing the way your house looks, the way it feels, the way you, the electricity that you use, to really coming together with people, cleaning your street, creating a community uh, garden, um, and then lobbying your government to actually support many more community uh, initiatives when it comes to government level, what we do and we will continue doing is keep talking to governments, especially ministries of culture, on the possibility for them to imagine how cultural policy should develop national networks of these community cultural centers that are multifunctional spaces, which means that through the community arts, they would promote all kinds of messages. And in particular, in this case, the major message would be change of lifestyle, sustainable living. So governments also have a key role to play and we should imagine it as a public-private partnership between communities and governments where the government could provide the infrastructure for the community centers, but it would be the local people that would animate them and really uh, get the sustainable lifestyle going as a really grassroots movement.